Welcome to learning React with me. In the last video, we learned how to navigate programmatically in React applications using history.push provided by the props and use history provided by React Router Talk. So in this video, let us try to understand another method provided by the history object, which is replace. This is the example we have seen in our previous video where we had max users and if the already existing users are equal to this max users then we were navigating to error path and if it is not then we were navigating to success path and for this navigation we used history.push provided by props and we also noticed that history object has other methods and one such method is replace so let's try to understand what is the difference between push and replace in this video. So uh, let us have the success path as push only. And for the error path, let me make it replace. So I will save it. Now max users is four, which is not equal to the number of existing users. So it will go to success path. So let's observe the success path first. So initially we were in the root of this application and when I click on home, we navigate to slash home and now I'm clicking on add new test user since we are eligible to add another user because we did not meet max users, it is navigating to success. So we moved to slash success. Now when I click on browser back button, I came back to slash home. And when I click on back, I came back to root of the application, which is expected. Now let's observe error path where we used replace. And for this, let me make this four to three in the max users so that this condition satisfies and we navigate to error. Let me go back to the application. We are in the root. I'm clicking on home. So I navigated to slash home. Now, when I click on add new test user, I'm going to error 400. This is as expected. Now observe carefully. When I click on back button of the browser, instead of going back to slash home, I came back to root of this application. So what happened here? Let's try to understand this pictographically. In the success case, we used props.history.push. We were in the root of the application and then we navigated to home. And then when I clicked on add new test user, we navigated to success path. And here, since we used push, when I clicked on the browser back button, it went back to slash home because this was the previously visited route. But what happened when I used history.replace in the error scenario is we were in the root of the application. We navigated to home page in the home component. When I clicked on add new test user button, since I used history.replace slash home path was replaced with slash error path in the history stack. That's why when I clicked on browser back button, we went back to the root of the application rather than to slash home because there was no such path called slash home in the stack because we used replace instead of push. So just remember that push is to add new entry onto the stack and replace is to remove the current entry and place a new entry. I hope this difference is clear and Keep watching for more content. Please subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.